everyone. Today I'll show you how you can have a look at your the size of your schema that you are working on in SQL, uh, how much is remaining. Also, you might want to have a look at the tables that you have created in your schema and what are the sizes of uh, the tables. Moreover, I'll also show you how to drop the tables. I mean, you know how to drop the tables, but um, writing a query as to how you can just select um, many of them and just drop it quite easily, and also how you can also squeeze the table sizes, making uh, the space uh, issue more efficient. Okay, let me go to my SQL developer, Oracle SQL developer. So let's start fresh. Let's start it here. So if you want to have a look at the uh, tables in your schema, you right, simply select set in from user say. And you run the query and it provides you all the tables that are available in your scheme. There you go. Now, you might want to have a look at the size of the tables so that the query is bytes. It gives you the size of each table in bytes. But for us, it's, it would be easier to have a look at it at the megabyte or gigabyte level. So therefore, we'll divide it by 1024, so it becomes kilobyte. 1024 again, it becomes megabyte. And 1024 again, so it becomes gigabyte. And you name that mm, the column gigabyte. Run the query again. I'm going to show you showing the sizes in gigabyte level. Now, if you want to uh, see the tables which are consuming the most space, all you need to do is write order by, and if you want to order by gigabyte, you write either gigabyte or this is the second table. <laughs> sorry, sorry for the hiccup. There's a second table, so it becomes the order by column two. And you want to make it uh, descending order. Now you're seeing the uh, Table that is taking the most space to list. That's how you come up with the uh, table names. Now, I also have another thing to show you today, which is if you want to have a look at what is the total used, uh, how much you have total uh, used up in your schema, and how much is uh, given to you, how much is remaining. Then what you have to write is select some of the bytes that you have used <coughs> and you name it user used or you used it I user used them. this one from user ps so once you run it you see you have used up this much now you want to see how much is remaining. Before that, we would like to make it gigabyte. Kilobyte divide again by 1024 becomes megabyte. Divide again by 1024, it becomes gigabyte. User used. Now I want to see what uh, the what is the available uh, um, you know, uh, space given to this schema. So you use the sum of max bytes and then run it. You have the sum of max bytes. You want to convert this to gigabyte. Okay, by one, two, two, three times, it becomes gigabyte. And you name it quota because this is the quota that you have been given in this schema. So it's a 10 GB it's quota, 8 GB used. Now you want to have a look how much is remaining. The remaining is easy. You, what you do is you minus this. I mean, from this one, you minus what you have used. Uh, 
and, and divide by 2 to Can you name it remaining? Run. Okay. Say remaining is one dB. So that's how you come up with how much you have used, how much is your quota, and how much you have remaining. I'll also show you one advanced topic. So if I run uh, this one. This is also the same uh, with I have shown. You have the tables here, uh, descending order from uh, how much each table have used. But what I have here additionally is that you have this readily available uh, SQL queries and for dropping tables if you want to drop and compress if you want to compress. Now. What is this? How is this query made? So the uh, let me just explain to you how the query is made. So this part is simple. Uh, what I have already shown you: segment name. So your tables bytes. What is the size of each table? And this from user segments and order by two. So it means uh, you are may making a descending order based on the table sizes. Now this one is nothing but concatenation of uh, text. So you have written drop table space concatenate segment name that means the table name so you are, what we are, you are doing here is drop table this table and then you concatenated concatenate again with a space here parge colon commit colon and then uh, position finish so that's your drop script if you want to uh, compress then alter table, segment name, your table name, move compress for query high. That's the command. Move compress for query high. That's how you write and commit. So this is for your uh, compression. So once you copy all of it and run, it will compress the page. It will make it uh, the space more efficiently managed. So these are the topics that I wanted to cover today. I hope uh, this video will be helpful in your work. And sorry for the hiccup. <laughs> uh, see you again. How do I stop it?